Now for our featured story of the day. Bitcoin asset is permissible for Islam. This is major news. In fact, let me share my screen with you here. Here's the headline. Bitcoin asset permissible for Islam. The 90-year-old Salafist cleric from Saudi Arabia confirms it. Now off the back of this news, Max Kaiser made the following tweet. 100%. The Saudis will make Michael Saylor look like a peanut. A $500 billion buy order triggering a god candle is a done deal. So Saudi money coming into Bitcoin. Let's go. He also made some recent tweets. These two are teaming up to make Larry Fink, aka Black Rock, and Michael Saylor look like peanuts <laughs> with a buy order of 1 million Bitcoin and a $100,000 god candle. Send it and let's freaking go. I mean, I can't wait. Uh, he also tweeted, source, these two Arab guys or Arab guys are burying the hatchet and teamed up to make an all time or an all Bitcoin offer for micro strategy. So clearly, Max has some insights here. He's been making a ton of posts regarding all of this. He also uh, tweeted here, which U.S. Bitcoin will get bought out by Arab investors first? Will it be Riot, Marathon, Hut? or BITF. These are the different uh, Bitcoin miners. He also uh, tweeted, uh, Bitcoin is exiting the exchanges as trust in the global markets and fiat money system collapses in the face of historic debt to GDP, ratios crippling so-called advanced economies like the US. Storing wealth in unconfiscatable perfect money Bitcoin is now understood by the world's wealthy as their only chance to survive the new greatest Depression, very powerful words. And I'm also going to be sharing some more tweets, which he recently shared regarding the God Candle, which is a $100,000 uptick, which he says is now in play. But first, I want to read this story because Islam, they have over 2 billion people on the planet who are Islamic. So this is a pretty big deal because now they have permission to invest into Bitcoin. This is major. Amongst the latest news regarding Bitcoin, it has emerged that the 90-year-old Salafist cleric, and my apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong, no disrespect, but it's my first time seeing some of these words, from Saudi Arabia, has written a fatwa confirming that the asset is now permissible for Islam. In the past, the belief was different, but apparently the situation has changed. Let's freaking go. This is a major deal, clearly, and you can see it here. Uh, maybe I can read this for you. It looks like it's transcribed uh, into English. What do you say about dealing with what is known as the digital currency Bitcoin? Here's what it says, and I'm going to read it to you because this is a big deal. Like I said, over 2 billion Islamics in the world, which now have permission to buy Bitcoin. Uh, a, praise be to God. And I know it's going to be hard to read, so just listen to me here because I know it's small on your screen. And may God's blessing and peace be upon our prophet Muhammad. As for what follows, the question was presented to me before, and I have stopped at the ruling on dealing in digital currency because of the evils mentioned about dealing in this currency, such as deception and an ignorance. But now I say that it is permissible. These evils are not among the necessary of dealing with the currency, meaning that these evils are present in all forms of transactions with the currency, and this is not the case. And in that the case, the ruling uh, revolves around its cause. So whatever forms of transactions include legitimate evils, the ruling is not hidden, which is prohibition, and what does not. No, as the case with dealing with other currencies. And what makes it more likely to say that it is permissible, in my opinion, is that as long as this currency has a cover from the one who issued it, it is acceptable. Because then they resemble checks issued with dividend amounts on a balance in a known account. What is in the check is worth to everyone who holds it. These checks then resemble the approved currency, but the checks are not in danger of being lost because it is not dis dispersed uh, except to those who have been given the order to request what is in it. Digital currency is similar to checks in one way and similar to cash approved by, and it says, as the experts mentioned, if this digital currency is expanded in issuance, countries must be forced to consider and adopt it. And I do not know whether everyone who issues something of this type will have their name on the units of the currency they issued. Obviously, the source must be known because trust in it depends on trust in its source, as it is the case of all other currencies. And accordingly, the same rulings apply to that apply to current currencies such as paper money. Usury is forbidden and the hand of the thief is cut off. Its owner becomes rich. It is inherited from him and a zakat is required, although 
it differs in the nature of the method of the dealing in it. So there you have it. And this is coming directly from this 90-year-old Saudi Salafic cleric who wrote this uh, regarding Bitcoin. So they now all have permission to invest into Bitcoin. And continuing on with the story, the text begins by stating that in the past, the request to make Bitcoin acceptable for Islam had been declined, but now there has been a change of opinion regarding it. And indeed, the 90-year-old Salafist cleric from Saudi Arabia wanted to emphasize how the judgment has changed as he has now sees Bitcoin transactions in any other currency where the evils are not hidden and it is clear what is prohibited and what is not. Specifically, here's what it said about the choice to make Bitcoin permissible for Islam, as you can see highlighted here on your screen. What makes it more likely to say that it is permissible, in my opinion, is as long as this currency is backed by those who issued it, it is acceptable because then they resemble checks issued with amounts uh, divided on the current account balance. So there you have it. So in practice, for the Salafist cleric, Bitcoin is similar to checks from one point of view and approved cash from the other. And in fact, similar to a check because it is valid for those who hold it and because it is only issued to those who have received the order to request what it contains. So Islam accepts Bitcoin trustless asset. Continuing in the fatwa, the Salafist cleric from Saudi Arabia then wanted to talk about the adoption of Bitcoin, stating that experts see an expansion in its adoption. And in such cases, all countries are forced to consider Bitcoin and even adopt crypto without knowing who issues them. In this regard, uh, the cleric from Saudi Arabia then spoke about trust, as it is from there that all the other rules that apply to current currencies, such as paper money, would then start. Quoting him again, which you can see highlighted here, Obviously, the source must be known because trust in it depends on the trust in its source, and as is the case with all other currencies. And therefore, the same rules that apply to current currencies, such as paper money, apply to it. Usury is prohibited. The hand of the thief is cut off. Its owner becomes rich. It is inherited by him, and a zakat is required. Although its nature and management methods are different from those of traditional currency, God knows well what to do. So there you have it. God knows well what to do. Preach. Now, other recent headlines. Qatar Sovereign Wealth Fund is considering investing $500 billion into Bitcoin. So it's not just Saudi Arabia. We also have Qatar and many other nation states over in the Middle East. Now, here is the tweet he shared back on December 3rd. Max Geyser, the God Candle, $100,000 uptick in Bitcoin is in play. It'll shift the global axis of wealth and power in a single tick. I have one word for you. 100,000 Bitcoin God Candle fans, Qatar. The rumors are getting very loud on this. Their Sovereign Wealth Wealth Fund rumored to be looking to buy a half a trillion dollars worth of Bitcoin. And you can see the photos of the Emir of Qatar over in El Salvador with Nigel Bukele. And he shared an update here. To add clarity, my source said, Bitcoin makes our half a trillion dollar sovereign wealth fund effectively worthless. We should just convert all of it into Bitcoin. Preach. He also shared this tweet. Uh, the KSA in Qatar about to drop a trillion dollars into Bitcoin. That was off the back of this major news. The world's largest oil company, Saudi Emiko, partners with the Japanese finance giant SBI Holdings to explore investing into digital assets. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's the world's largest oil company with the largest bank in Japan partnering. So clearly they're getting into digital assets. And my question for you, family, what's the number one digital asset in the world? That's right. There is no second best. We all know it's Bitcoin. We all know Bitcoin adoption is coming. This is what Max Kaiser has been calling, and this is the Bitcoin game theory in full effect. So what are your thoughts surrounding these big announcements regarding the Saudis making Sailor look like a peanut and a $500 billion buy order triggering a God candle already being a done deal? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below.